ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Blow the Belt. I want to talk about uh, the WBC uh, sanction of bodies is uh, trying to, you know, uh, classify Clan Brew Roll as, you know, saying as in they're trying to implement it in their um, the uh, WADA program that they uh, are doing. Um, I'm on Michael Benson, um, Michael Benson Twitter page and. And this is what he says. The WBC have announced that they will now be adopting new standards set by WADA into their WADA clean boxing programming, which considers a high considers a higher threshold needed to uh, test positive for clan brewerall. They claims this will prevent athletes being penalized due to contaminated meat. And you know the uh, the WG sanctioned by Mar um, Maurice Sulaiman, um, you know, which is I think it's in Mexico, or even, if it's not in Mexico, uh, it's ran by um, uh, Mexican descent or Mexican people, you know, and ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. What I'm saying, you know, um, but the thing about it is, um, I think um, I think uh, Mexicans have been uh, been tested and they've been they've been. You know, this has been in their blood. I mean, as in, it's been um, traces of the the uh, clan brew roll in their blood because of the terminated meat, like I just said, right? Which I could, um, I could probably understand that too. The same thing, if you eat it, you you, you if you get tested, it, you will find a, a substance of the clan brew roll in your blood. It don't matter if you're black, white, Asian, whatever, right? Um, and then I think uh, two uh, Mexican descent, uh, uh, Mexicans and uh, Mexico uh, fighters got uh, popped for this, right? Because they got, you know, tested. And um, I could, you know, one thing is I could probably, I could probably understand what uh, Maurice Suleiman is doing because, you know, he's tired of seeing uh, people from uh, boxers in Mexico get penalized for this. Um, but at the same time, it, it is a... a it, you know, it do help you with uh, stamina problems at the same time, and um, and, Can and and Canelo Alvarez got popped like last year for uh, having this in his uh, in his system. But you know, one thing is, you know, the difference between uh, Canelo Alvarez and the other two fighters, they're not well known like that. I don't think so. Uh, not they, well, they're not even stars or superstars. Canelo Alvarez is a superstar. He should have a shelf, which I think he does. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think uh, I think he spent more of his time in. I think he spent most of his time on this side of the uh, the border instead of in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? If you do go to Mexico, you should bring your own meat with you, whatever, and all that, right? Because you're in boxing. You know what I'm saying? He should know this. He show, he's in boxing, and you know the history of uh, of this, uh, of me Mexicans uh, having this in their system. So you don't want to get popped for it because you, and then on you, the face of boxing. Superstar. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Canelo Alvarez. He should know this. And he has, and he's rich. He's richer than a lot of people over there in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying it, it, it's, it's impossible for him to. It, this is impossible because it, it can happen. But he should know the, stand, the, the procedure at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Do I think he did it on purpose? I don't know that. I mean, nobody would know that. He's the only one knows that. You know what I'm saying? And the other two uh, p fighters, uh, they got popped for who's uh, who's Mexican. Um, now, there's a possibility they got they 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 should know the procedure too at the same time about what what belongs in their what uh what's a uh, ban what's what what don't what don't belong in their blood or in their system whatever and all that right but they're not superstars they they, they money I would think that the natural that the, the I would think that a regular I mean a boxer and the money that they make when they they live in above. The middle class, I would say, I would think so in a sense, but I could be wrong. It depends on where you're starting at. Are you a prospect? What kind of prospect are you? Whatever, an upcoming prospect with a, a on the right path, having a great or uh, a, a bright future, or you just a prospect already got two losses already and or three losses already, and you ain't you ain't that good, right? But you getting paid some type of money, and uh. I understand what Maurice Suleiman is doing. He's trying to protect the uh, um, the people who look like him or the people from the same country as him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not mad about that, but you know it's gonna uh, it's gonna be some backlashes of of this, and it's like you helping them. But you know what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up the floodgates of well, what what 
if that's clenbuterol and that's a that's a substance that put, is not supposed to belong in your system, what what else is going to come out the woodworks? Some other sanctioned bodies or somebody else is going to say, well, this well they they accepted clenbuterol and 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 I should have a little bit in my system. What what's wrong with me having a little bit a, a little bit of something else in my system? You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what's going to happen. And they already looking bad already with the franchise title giving them give, give, giving out that that uh, title to uh, Canelo Alvarez and Vasel Lomachenko, and now they doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, like I say, I'm not surprised about what goes on in boxing right now. You know, I'm really thinking about uh, changing my channel to a, a box uh, to a basketball channel and to just uh, instead of uh, reporting about uh, boxing because this is getting ridiculous, uh, getting ridiculous a little bit at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And um, you could look at you could look at uh, what do I mean? What the people tweeted back and said uh, the WBC equals will we back Canelo? See, Benny. Benny from the Bronx, we are we are boxing corrupt. That's what the, that's what they say the WBC stands for. You know what I'm saying? Worst boxing corporation. You know what I'm saying? So, I really thought this was a joke when I saw it. Protecting Canelo. How's that protecting Canelo? That's what he says. Well, you know, it, in in a sense, I would say this. He says, "How how is that protecting Canelo?" Well, you know, say it would make it would make you know people think like, well, um, it wasn't bad what he had in his blood, whatever. And uh, and then you know you got the history of Mexicans uh, being tested for this, having this stuff in their system that you know what I'm saying, and that's the that's the like. Um, not make it, not make him look so bad in the, in this in the, in the spotlight, because Maurice Solomon is really you know, he's kind of helping uh, Canelo Alvarez in a sense, you know when he when he go into the Hall of Fame because he will be a Hall of Famer. I am I'm not gonna lie about that, but it's not gonna make him look so bad. It's bad already hit in his blood. Even if he did it, even if he did it on purpose or was it an accident, it don't matter. It was in his blood, right? But this this doing this is gonna you know, help just a little bit, I would say. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think I don't know how much was I don't know how much was found in his system. How much was in his system, whatever, uh, uh Canal Alvarez, but it was found in his system and that that's the that's the moral of the story, because some people gonna say he's a cheat. Cause just like with uh with uh, Shane Mosley, I like him as a boxer, but how much was that due to cause he had uh he was had uh, drugs in his system, PEDs in his system that wasn't supposed to be there and uh, until he came out with it, but we don't know how much was in there until he, uh, um, when he fought the other fighters and his stuff is his career is kind of tainted. You know what I'm saying? He is in the Hall of Fame, but I just can't put him up there with with the greats because of because of that situation. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Canelo Alvarez is going to go through at the same time. And some people going to think like that. It's going to say that, right? And they got a reason to say that. And I, I can't, I can't, I can't even argue with that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, some people never got caught with using, having drugs in their system, but they did have it, and they're in the Hall of Fame right now, too, but they just never got caught. But he got caught. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being caught and not be caught, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but um, at the same time, it's not going to make the WBC section of bodies look really good. I, I would definitely say that. And they know this. They don't, they don't give a fuck. They're going to do what they, they, gonna do what they want to do. And two, and two people start making a stand, especially... Uh, uh, about the franchise title, uh, Deontay Wilder said that he's not going to accept that if they uh, if they offered it to him. I don't think Gary Rush is going to uh, going to accept that either if they offer it to him. Errol Spence, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't think now he he's he's in a different situation. But do I see him accepting the, the that title? I don't I don't think so. Because he's going to be I don't know how long it's going to take him to recover from the uh, the the accident that he was in in the car crash. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he got some mentors that he got a, um, um, he's got a, um, deal with. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but at the same time, man, um, this not making, this not going to make, uh, to me, in my opinion, uh, is it below the belt or above the belt? Man, it's, it's, I think it's below the belt. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, 
I mean, if they get, I think, with, I think if they get, if, if they have, like, get popped for Clan Brewer all, make this, uh, them get penalized, make it a little bit light instead of harsh. I would say that instead of six or eight months or something like that to a year or something like that. I don't think it should be that long. I think it should be like three months, maybe at the most. Because, I mean, it can happen. I mean, especially with fighters who don't have the money like that, like Canelo Alvarez. Because Canelo Alvarez is in a different situation, in a different boat. Everybody else is just trying to get up and try to get on Canelo Alvarez status and have the money and how to be and, 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 and have the fame and all that. And if you got the fame and the money, you, you have a personal share, shelf. You know what I'm saying? They should be watching out for the nutrition and all that stuff. They should be watching out for what you eat and all that stuff, man. They should know that. They, they should know the procedure. That's why I think it's kind of hard to get Canelo Alvarez out that situation because he's, he's on that status. Everybody else, any Mexican who's come from Mexico who's trying to get to that status, they don't have the, the chefs. They don't have the nutrition like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the money like that. They're coming from poverty. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though they might know the, the situation, the procedure of what goes on in the meat, that the kind of brutal raw we put in their meat, but they got to eat too at the same time. If they if they, if they that's if they're meat eaters, which I believe they are, right? But, you know, so I, I give the other people a little bit more pass instead of Canada Alvarez. That's why I say. That's that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, one thing, another thing is it, it, it's not too far-fetched because Canada Alvarez could have took some meat and ate some meat there and got, got popped off with it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, um, it happens, and he's not the only Mexican that, that happened. Then this is the first time he ever got popped for having something in his system. So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's just the way it is. But at the same time, what do y'all think about this situation with um, the WBC sanctioned bodies uh, set a new standard for water in the, in the Nevada clean parks and programming? You know what I'm saying? What y'all think this is going to do? Open up the floodgates for other sanctioned bodies that, or, or, or other bosses that have some other... Um, uh, PEDs in their system and 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 and, and other things. So what y'all think? Leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. All right, bye.